Now, the Tools menu contains one important uh, entry that I'd like to point out, and that is the Options at the very, very bottom. It's sort of the Preferences uh, tab. And the OpenOffice.org Options menu has a lot of options. First of all, one can set the default user data in this uh, first box. There's a way to assign how much memory is, is used for OpenOffice, which can be helpful in speeding up OpenOffice. There's ways you can select the colors and the fonts. There's lots of different uh, things that, that can be chosen here. Under Load and Save is an easy way to save the default file format. There's also Microsoft Office conversion tools that are available here. Under Paths, back up under the uh, General Options, this is where one can set the default uh, file locations, you know, the default place to save files. You can easily change that here. For example, My Documents, you can edit this and change the default location where documents are saved. There are also certain settings for just some of the components. As you can see, just the OpenOffice Writer has some options. The OpenOffice Base uh, which is the database program it has some options here. There's lots of different options that are available. Now, another nice feature of OpenOffice.org is the uh, default ability to save as PDF. Simply going to File and Export as PDF is all that needs to be done to create a PDF document. There's nothing additional that needs to be installed or configured. It works very well, and it's an excellent feature of OpenOffice.org. There are templates that are available for certain types of, of documents, page preview, one can, of course, print, save, doing a save as. It's, it's very common. These options are, are very common, and one should feel right at home. Some of the things may be in different locations because it is obviously not Microsoft Office, but virtually all the functionality is here that one would need. Uh, format has a lot of the same information available. That's um, a lot of the different uh, same options as Microsoft Word to change the page settings and the character settings and the alignment and, and all of that. Now, OpenOffice.org Calc is the default spreadsheet, very similar to Microsoft Excel. And a lot of the same user interface uh, aspects are, are similar here in, in, in terms of the various menus that are available, the icons on the icon bar, just like with the writer program. Additionally, this button over here, just like with writer, shows you uh, additional functions that icons could not fit on the screen. And it really works just like Microsoft Excel. One can enter in two cells and do a function just like with highlighting even just like with Microsoft Excel and print, pressing Enter, it's very easy to do. There are functions available. There's a function wizard that is available, uh, just like with Excel. And it does a very good job of importing Excel spreadsheets. Very, very large spreadsheets can be a little slow to import. But once imported, of course, one can then save the data in any format that one likes. Now, one last point on both Calc and Writer is that both Calc and Writer support open standard document formats, and it's highly encouraged that folks save their data in open document format to prevent the problem that people are encountering now, which is that they have their data locked up in proprietary file formats in Microsoft Office. This does allow people to save their data in open document format and other similar formats that, that can be used by other applications that does not lock the data into one specific application. So that is a brief look at OpenOffice.org Writer and OpenOffice.org Calc, which are the OpenOffice word processor and spreadsheet components, respectively, uh, of the OpenOffice.org Office Suite, which is an excellent full-featured Office Suite included by default with Ubuntu Linux. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.